shooting on a move, what is important to accomplish and to hit the target while you're moving and shooting. The problem when we're walking is that there's a lot of bounce up and down, vertical, and also side to side, lateral. Now, let's dive into the principles that are going to minimize, they're not going to completely eliminate that shake, that bounce, but they're going to minimize them to the adequate level so we will keep our reasonable accuracy while we are moving and shooting at the same time. I will take my shooting stance. I will be a little bit more up straight. I will form my grab and I will extend my thumb of the shooting hand. From here, I will walk like I'm walking in the park. I'm not going to change nothing. And I will pay attention on the thumb, what's happening with the thumb. I see a lot of bounce, side to side, up and down. The first thing that we'll do, we'll start with eliminating the lateral disturbance of the sides. I will square my feet parallel to the direction that I'll go and I'll keep my knees parallel to that same direction. Again, I'm for my shooting grip and I'll observe my thumbnail and we'll start walking. What I noticed is, yes, there's a lot of vertical bounce, but I significantly minimized the side-to-side -side disturbance of the thumb. I'll keep my feet and knees parallel to the direction that will go. Now, I'll put them closer together, about one fist size between my feet. I'll keep the same space between my knees. From here, I will simply walk like in a park, forming my grip and observing my thumbnail. I see almost no disturbance side to side, laterally. There is still a lot of vertical bounce. Now we'll focus on minimizing that up and down disturbance. Next thing that will add to our shooting on a move platform, I will lower my center of gravity. I will completely relax my ankles and also the knees. Actually, I'm going to relax everything from the core below. It's very important to relax the ankles so they will step softly and they will follow the terrain. Again, I'm going to extend my hands, forming the shooting grip, and I'll observe my thumbnail. Yes, a significantly less up and down bounce right now. But still, we can work a little bit more in order to perfect and minimize that disturbance. A lot of schools are teaching stepping heel to toe manner, but that do not provide enough information. So what? Now, in order to be effective in that walking style, we need to understand the principles behind what actually will make it effective. When you touching the ground with the other foot, we are not transferring the weight immediately on that foot. Actually, we can touch the ground at any point. I can lift that foot from the ground. Then very gradually, I'm going to transfer the weight, gliding the pelvis, trying to keep that pelvis in the plane parallel to the plane of the ground. We call that the stalking cat step. If you step and at the same time, immediately you transfer the weight of the body on that step, you will see a severe bounce. Severe bounce. When you touch the ground first and then gradually transfer the weight, 
there is no bounce, zero, zero disturbance in the sides. Touch the ground, transfer the weight. Touch the ground, transfer the weight. It's very important to glide that pelvis in that same plane. Don't create an arc when you're stepping. It's not that. You need to touch the ground, slide and gradually transfer the weight on that foot. Touch the ground, slide your pelvis and gradually transfer the weight on that foot. Stalking cat step. Then we work to gradually increase the pace and the speed of that steps. Touch, slide, touch, slide, touch, slide, touch, slide, touch, slide, touch, slide. What's the final correction? Very important thing, your shooting platform. Isosceles triangle created with your arms, it's connected to the torso by pulling your shoulders back and down, engaging the lateral muscles. That will bring extra stability in your shooting platform. So the arms are not going to bounce like crazy when you lift and present the gun in each target. That's crucial. It's very beneficial in that particular technique. Focus to stabilize your arms. Build your shooting platform correctly. Then make sure that you're square to each target that you're planning to engage. Chest square, hip square. While the lower body is moving, the upper body, that shooting platform must, be, must stay absolutely consistent like a turret of a tank. It's not moving, it's sliding in a parallel plane that it's parallel to the ground. Let that soft suspension to actually adapt the terrain and keep that upper, upper part of your body flat. Now I'm going to repeat that exercise right now using my real gun. I'll do that dry fire. I will observe my front sight. Now I'll keep it about second, second and a half in the left target. Then I make the transition. I'll keep it about a second and a half and I'll pause in my right target. And I'll switch back to the left and back to the right. If it's floating inside of the acceptable margin of error, that means inside of our target, I'm pretty good to make that shot. Start walking, pausing, 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 pausing. Now, we'll do that exercise live fire. We're going to apply the efficiency in the transition to have a multiple engagement to left, right, left, right, left, right. Now, the next and the last uh, practical exercise is to engage each target with the multiple shots. You can start engaging each target with two shots first, but the main focus is that efficiency in the transition. Then you can gradually pick up the round count. You can start engaging the target with three shots each, four, four shots each. Sky is the limit. The idea is to go more dynamic, engage each target with more than one shot. Now, for the purpose of the exercise, we'll engage each target with two shots. It's control pair on each one of them. Key focus here again, efficiency in the transition. Now, with a little bit more practice and repetitions, you'll be able to turn that walk to quite natural. The idea is to ingrain that in a subconscious mind and to apply that style of walking without thinking about it. Now, the good news is that you can develop that without a even single shot fired. There's a one very simple exercise. Uh, take a bottle of water, just flip it. Take your uh, shooting and moving position, extend that bottle in front of the eyes, and now watch the water level when you're applying your technique. The idea is to keep the level, the water level, as stable as possible.
Now, following that uh, system of multi-layers and multiple exercises, you can build and perfect your skill and ability to engage multiple targets and a move in a rapid manner with maximum efficiency and very good accuracy as well.